Have you ever played a memory game? There's a game I used to like playing when I was a kid. My mom would lead it with us at birthday parties. What she would do is she would take a baking pan and she'd cover it with all kinds of tiny little objects. And then she would cover it up with a towel. The point of the game was that we had to memorize all the objects on the tray. So we had exactly one minute to look at everything on the tray. I'll give you a look so you can see what's on here. If you'd like to play, you can pause it and take a look at home too. When that minute was up, she would cover it up again and we would have to go find a paper and a pen and write down as many of those objects as we could remember. I have to admit, it was kind of a hard thing to do to remember all those objects. And sometimes I'd get really frustrated and wish that I could have just one more look. There's actually a part in the Bible that talks about sometimes how we forget what we have just seen or what we have just read in the Bible. In James chapter 1 verses 22 to 23 it says, anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like someone who looks at his face in a mirror and after looking at himself goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. For the game I played I often felt like I quickly forgot all the items on the tray and I was frustrated when I couldn't write them all down on that paper and then disappointed when I lost. It actually encouraged me to want to try harder to play better at this game. So I practiced with my siblings and got better at it because we still only had that one time, a single minute that we could look at what was on the tray and we had to memorize it. So for this game, we had one opportunity. But when it comes to remembering what God has told us in the Bible, we can look at it anytime. But it's always better if we remember exactly what God has told us in the Bible. So take the time, read what God has told you, because in any moment, you'll be prepared to remember what God would want you to do.